Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm gonna to walk you through Signal app privacy settings. It's super simple, so let's jump in. There are a couple of privacy settings to note, so I'm gonna review those now, something to consider adjusting once you're on the app. This app is used for security and privacy, so you wanna make sure that nothing is turned on that you don't want to be on. So I'm in the app right now, and the first thing you wanna do is go to your profile, which is at the top left, that little icon, mine has an M, and then we're gonna to go to privacy. So once here, at the very top, you can see blocked. If you click on that, you can add blocked users. Um, this is where you can just get people to never have uh, access to sending you anything. So if you wanted to do that and you know their username or their phone number, you can do that by just clicking here and adding their phone number or you know taking them from your contacts. But um, that is the blocked feature. Right underneath that, you have messaging. And so right now, it's toggled on and it's already set to default on read receipts. Basically, if you want somebody to know that you've read their receipt, just like in your text messages on your phone, then you can keep that on. But if you don't want somebody to know that you've read it or that you're typing, you wanna to toggle those off. So the first one is for read receipts. If you want them to know that you've already read their message, if you don't, toggle that off. And the typing indicator is the three dots you usually see. If you want somebody to see that you're typing or maybe not typing, um, make sure you toggle that off if you don't want them to see that you're typing. Then we're gonna go down and under app security. So the first one, it says hide screen in app switcher. So basically that means if I, on my iPhone, this applies only to iPhones, if I go up with my finger, I can switch between apps. And if I don't want signal app to be shown while I do this, so say I just don't want anybody to know that I'm on the app, if I do this, and I have that turned on, it will hide the switcher app, so this will not be there anymore, and it would just show these two apps. Um, so that's good if you're trying to keep this a secret, trying to keep that app a secret, so you can go ahead and toggle that on. And then right underneath, screen lock is basically, it requires you to have a facial recognition or a password, whatever you're using, to log into the app. Um, it basically just keeps your privacy private, so you can have that switched on, and then you can also put a time limit, so maybe after every minute it has to have it, or you know, an instant, whatever you think is necessary. I'll toggle that off. And then the next one down is calling, so show calls in recents. So basically, on your phone, you can have recent calls, and if I wanted to get out of here, my phone, and go to here, and then go to recent, these are all the recent calls. And if it's showing up in my, whatever app I'm using, it's gonna show up here. If you don't want any signals, um, phone calls to come in and show on your phone's recent, then go ahead and switch that off. And then if we go to advanced, it will bring up these menu. And the, really the only one you wanna look at is always relay calls, just in the middle right here. And basically mine's toggled off because it does reduce um, the quality of the call if you have that on. But if you're trying to protect your privacy, protect your IP address, um, have that on because it means that every time there's a call, no matter what, it's going to be going through a signal server disguising your IP address. So you wanna have that on. However, you know, the downside is the quality is not gonna be as good. But if that doesn't matter to you, then go ahead and keep that on. And that is it for your privacy protection. Um, if you guys have any questions on that, let us know in the comments below. If not, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe.